Irish. She's in some kind of ominous form today, Darcy Vessio. With the left, she's got another! Towards Vessio, has the sit, doesn't have the mark, but she has the crumbs. On the left, that is textbook! Crumbs and a goal from the star, Darcy Vessio. Just gets boot to ball, play on. Vessio with the left, bounces it. Oh, bounces it through! Gibbs, go and Vessio, best position, she'll play on. Bang, she's got Cairns first. Vessio lurking, can she have two in a minute? She does. Can she run onto it? It should sit for her kindly here. Scoops it up and finishes. She's setting a new benchmark in 2021. Darcy, congratulations, but first we need to discuss how beautiful that was. As a mum of two little girls, I think it's those moments that really hit home the growth of women's football and just how important you guys are to the next generation. How beautiful was that? Yeah, it's, it's pretty special um, seeing little girls like Poppy um, get that opportunity. I guess I sometimes think about what I would have felt like um, seeing AFLW being played when I was a young girl. So. Um, it's pretty special for us to have that, um, I guess, that responsibility to the young girls now. Because your football journey wasn't easy. You grew up at a time when girls couldn't play and the pathways weren't quite as simple. How far has the game come and where can we get to? Oh, it's, I guess um, when I was growing up, um, I'm from a small town called Markwood, just outside of Wangaratta. And, I thought that the career of a, a girl playing in the country was playing with the boys up until 14 and then hanging up the boots. And I honestly, at that point, thought that that was it for me. So um, to see you know, young girls like Poppy be able to play Auskick all the way into AFLW if they choose to, because um, it's all about girls having the choice um, if they want to pursue footy. It certainly is. Uh, your goal kicking prowess this year, any favourites from the goals that you bagged? Um, so many um, to choose from. <laughs> Whoa, there's just so many. Um, let me just... Can you play that package again? Um, no, um, no uh, I guess maybe against Richmond, like, I felt like I kicked some important goals in that game, so that was good. What goals do you set yourself and what challenges do you set yourself as you approach each year? Um, I suppose coming into this season, um, I knew that I needed to um, do some things differently. I feel like this league is ever evolving and the girls coming through are literally so much better than us old girls. So um, we have to keep evolving and um, for me it was about um, just committing hard to training and, and being able to, um, I guess, get a lot fitter and um, yeah, I guess be able to get back to playing footy that I, I want to be playing. So um, for me, that's marking well, um, not fumbling, that sort of stuff. So yeah, uh, it was a it was a different preseason, but it was really good. I'm sure you've got a few thank yous. Yeah, well I've had um, hang on one sec. I've had I didn't actually know this one was coming, so um, I've had <laughs> oh, uh, just kidding. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, this is actually a gag that I had ready in 2017 and I chickened out, so I was wrapped to have um, the chance to give it another crack. <laughs> um, no, honestly, I would just <laughs> like to say um, firstly thank you to the Carlton Football Club. Um, they were the first people who, who gave me a shot, um, so I'm really appreciative of um, half, of course. Um, and everyone at Carlton. Um, obviously, my teammates, I love playing with my teammates. Um, they're a great group of people, um, and we have a lot of fun, so um, thank you to the girls. Um, credit to the girls. Uh, yeah, I love, I love playing with them, so um, it's been a pleasure, and I look forward to what we can do in the future. Um, my parents, Chris and Paul, um, I'm sure they're watching at, in Markwood. So, hi, Mum and Dad. I'm um, sorry you couldn't be here tonight. Look forward to seeing you on Friday at the Carlton Best and Ferris. But thank you for everything you've done for me um, in my football. You've been an amazing support. And thank you to my partner, Emily, as well. Um, she's an incredible person, and I'm very lucky to be with her. And I just forgot my brothers. So thank you to Zeb and Lewis um, for always supporting me and for kicking the footy with me uh, all the time. So thank you.